Good morning, so today is Friday. Uh, it's the Friday of my of the last week of the prep and also the race week. So this week has been very chill when it comes to running. So I did 5k on Monday and 5k on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday I went power walking uh, an hour each. And then today, Friday, another power walk. Then tomorrow is Saturday and I have 2k easy run to do. And then Sunday is race day. So yeah, that is basically it. So today I am going on my walk and then I'm working all day. And then tomorrow I am going to St. Maxime where the race start so I will I will be staying there in an Airbnb between uh, Saturday and Sunday so that I'm like on location uh, when I wake up on race day and then I'm also staying uh, the night after the race so I go back home on Monday so yeah I'm starting to feel a bit nervous but I'm just telling myself that it's it's going to be fine. So yeah, I'm going to finish my walk and talk to you later. Good afternoon. It's uh, Saturday, so the day before my marathon. So I'm feeling excited and very nervous. And today I've uh, just like been taking it very easy. I haven't uh, like done any exercise. I've just been sort of going around preparing and now I am about to uh, head to St. Maxime where the marathon is starting tomorrow. Uh, I'm going there today to like get there in time to pick up my bib and yeah sort of prepare for the race. Uh, it starts at 8 tomorrow so it would be too early to to stay in this overnight and then go in the morning. Uh, it's possible but uh, I, I prefer to, to stay in St. Maxim overnight and I'm staying at an Airbnb. So now I'm taking the motorcycle and heading there. And yeah, so uh, I will see you in uh, St. Maxim. So I have made it to Saint Tropez. Uh, the traffic was pretty light, so that was good. Although it was, it was super, super windy, which is not great on the motorbike. Uh, the motorbike itself is fine, it just like plows on, but like the wind is constantly like dragging dragging me like back and forth and like my neck is, is very sore because like my head with my helmet on gets very heavy and then with a lot of wind you have to stabilize it yourself. So I was very happy to finally be here, but it was a nice ride. Uh, the motor highway part wasn't so nice because it's so windy. But then when you have to go get from the highway down to St. Maxime, it's a very nice ride. Uh, so that was great. And I am going to give you a bit of a tour later, but uh, now I need to get out to get down to the runner's village, which is like a kilometer and 200 meters from here, I think, uh, to get my bib and my all my stuff. And then I need to go to the grocery store to buy dinner and breakfast for tomorrow. And then, Hopefully I can give you a bit of a tour of the place here. I'm renting a downstairs of a villa and I have a bit of a garden. I have some sun, sun loungers and a garden and orange trees, which are, and there are fruits. Uh, there are oranges on the orange trees right now. So it's very beautiful and the sun is shining. So it's a very, it's a very nice day. So I am going to head out so I can get back home and relax and prepare for, for tomorrow. So here is the Airbnb where I'm staying, so that's my motorcycle over there and then uh, I have the downstairs here to the left where is, that's where you get in and yeah there's a garden and then there are like sound loungers uh, in the back and then orange trees with oranges and lemon trees with lemons so Super nice, I am very, very happy.
Hello again, so I am back in my Airbnb again, finally. So first I went down to the runner's village to pick up my stuff for tomorrow. And then I went to one grocery store and picked up some stuff. And then I went home to like leave everything. And then I went to another grocery store to buy some other things. So it's now almost six o'clock in the evening. So right now I'm just going to uh, prepare my food uh, for what I'm going to eat later today and then also like prepare breakfast for tomorrow. So I thought I would just show you what I picked up. So at the Ramsey Village I picked up uh, well, all the bib and stuff uh, and then we got one of these like uh, sport bags things. I already have one from my last run but it's always like fun to have these I think. Uh, so. It says, do you, do you run? And then the Marathon du Golf du Saint-Tropez. So it's, it's like a fun memory, I think. And then, because we are in uh, France, in Saint-Tropez, uh, we, everyone got a bottle of uh, local wine. So uh, I'm not going to drink this now, but eventually when I do drink it, I am going to remember the marathon, how, how hard I worked for it. So I think that it might be the best tasting wine ever, even though uh, Rosé is not my favorite. I do prefer white, but uh, I do think that this will be very, very tasty. And then at the grocery store, I picked up, uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, like four avocados. That's in the here. Then one rotisserie chicken. And then some... Uh, it's sort of like cayenne to put on the uh, avocado. And then I've got some ham, some brisola, and some more uh, parma ham as well. Uh, it's over there. So, uh, like, I'm still doing keto. Uh, I was thinking about maybe eating carbs now, but I don't want to, like, jeopardize anything because this has been working so well for me, so... Like I'm sticking to it even tomorrow as well. Uh, but the difference is that usually I run uh, fasted, but tomorrow I will eat breakfast. And th there will be like food stations and water stations along the way. So if I do feel hungry, I will eat during uh, the run, which I usually don't do either. So I do think that I will have quite a bit uh, more energy than, than usual, I guess. Because that's, that's been my experience previous races. Like even before I did keto, I always did my training runs completely fasted in the morning. And then uh, come race day, I always had breakfast and I did feel a big difference. Uh, so I do think that that will be the, the, the case this time as well. Uh, or I forgot to tell you, I also got one of these like low sugar, high protein bars uh, that, I, that fits in like for keto lifestyle. So I think I will eat this while I walk down to the starting point tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now I need to, like I said, prepare my food. Uh, like wind down, chill out, uh, decide what I'm going to wear tomorrow, if I'm going to wear shorts or not, uh, hard decisions. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. So it's now Sunday afternoon and I am back from doing the marathon. I didn't film anything during the marathon because I didn't bring my phone or anything else. Uh, since I have music on my watch, I didn't really need to bring my phone. And I thought that like the less things, the less friction uh, that I, I will have uh, during my run, the better. Uh, so I left my phone at home so I can film anything. Hopefully I've been able to grab some photos that were like taken uh, by professionals during the run that I can like insert to, to show you that I actually did the race. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm so glad to to have finished. I don't know my time yet. I will check that later. And just to have finished. Uh, like the feeling of crossing the finish line was amazing. It was so, so, so hard. Like... Do, doing a marathon compared to a half marathon is like night and day. It's really something 
something else. So I'm so happy and proud of myself to, to have finished. And I've taken a shower and been to the bakery to get some food. And here, uh, and after the race, I got a big, big medal. It's almost the size of my head. So yeah, to show the uh, the effort that was made. So I'm so happy and proud for this one. I also got the uh, finisher shirt. This is the shirt that only the people who finish the, the whole marathon get. So also very happy about this one. And after the race, uh, since we are in uh, Saint-Tropez, we also got a tarte tropezienne. Uh, it's sort of meant to be eaten directly after the race, but I was absolutely not feeling like having cake. Uh, so I brought it home. It's it's a bit mushed, but you can still, you, you get the concept. So I'm going to eat this uh, very soon because I'm very, very, uh, like in the mood for cake now. Now that I've like calmed down a bit and my body is, uh, is catching up. So yeah. Um, uh, at the bakery, I also like bought some of the good stuff that I haven't like been eating lately uh, because I've been on prep and stuff. So I got a croissant and I got a, uh, a meddling cake. So I'm very excited to eat that. I also got a, uh, a baguette. So uh, a very like uh, French uh, run to the bakery. Uh, I also have some uh, rotisserie chicken left from yesterday that I'm going to eat and I have avocado and I have brisola and parma ham so uh, I am all set for the rest of the day uh, so I'm staying in this Airbnb until tomorrow so I can just like chill here and have a nice evening and then like I'm not like coherent enough to uh, summarize my feelings about the run and how it went and how I felt and every, everything like that. So I think I will uh, film another clip about the clip about that when I get back to uh, to my apartment in Nice, where, where I'm driving tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, o overall it was a good experience. Like uh, the team who uh, who organized it, it was it was all great, no complaints at all. So yeah, a, a good experience. So for now, I I think this is it and I will probably see you tomorrow again. So I made it home from uh, St. Maxim now. It's uh, Monday morning, Monday, Monday midday sort of. So I woke up in St. Maxim this morning, had breakfast and cleaned up the Airbnb. And then I took my motorcycle and drove home to Nice. And now I've like gone grocery shopping and stuff to to have some things to eat and uh some food to prepare for for the working week ahead so i just wanted to close out uh this vlog and the marathon prep series i'm sorry it wasn't more exciting this last like marathon like the, the actual race vlog but since i didn't have anything with me to film like during the race day uh, it was sort of a fail but I guess that sort of re reflects uh, this whole prep series because since I've been running like in the dark this whole time, I haven't been able to film my runs or or anything like that. So only stuff around the running. So I guess it was pretty <laughs> like in in tune with the rest of this uh, vlog series. But anyhow, uh, I'm so glad to to have run a marathon. It was a good experience and. I think that I might want to do it again in the future uh, with some more training and yeah right now I'm just very excited to like uh, get into the gym get stronger and and keep on running as well I found a pro like a free program uh, online to improve uh, my 5k pace so I think that's the ne next thing that I'm going to to do in terms of running so my focus will be on um, getting stronger in the gym but then it's that's only a four day program, so the rest of the time I still want to do some running, just to keep up the capacity that I've built, and uh, like to have like I have other goals, like I did a marathon, but I have other running goals as well that I want to work with, and I do want to get faster. So I think 
think like now focusing on long distance running, it will be fun to uh, focus a bit more on uh, on the speed side of running. So I think that's what's ahead. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to say thank you for, for watching the series and uh, yeah, see you next time. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you. Uh, so my time was five hours, which is pretty slow, but I'm pretty happy with it either way because like I didn't have a great day yesterday. Uh, my stomach was not cooperating at all with me and it was super windy and like more excuses but just to like summarize uh, five hours is slow but it was my first time and I'm just so happy to have finished I ran all the way I didn't walk I like I kept on going the whole time it was super tough mentally and I could still keep on going and I think that's the I think that's the most important thing. This is not my, my job. This is just something I do on the side to challenge myself. And I really did that. And that's, that's, that's all, I really, all I'm really asking for when it comes to running. It's like setting up goals and training for them and, and, and achieving them from time to time. So yeah. Uh, so with that, I, I close out the vlog and I'll see you sometime in the future.